Devin and I both skipped out on work to go downtown. Don't follow our example. Yeah, do work it. is more important than to go downtown. I really didn't. Ah! We need to go eat, you dumb fuck. Dude, I'm hungry too. Let's go eat. Getting this vape, like, just like totally just made my hunger like. <laughs> yeah, kind of like a bird almost. Okay. Devin literally takes days to go to the bathroom. He went in there 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago. Like, what, what the hell are you doing? I want to go eat food. So we, as ritual follows, we must go to the Castle Hill at least one time. As ritual follows. So to Castle Hill it is. Dude, that tree is like right there. Yeah, that is a tree. <laughs> Man, Austin is beautiful, dude. Dude, you know that we had we had a goal to. No, we didn't. I had a goal to hang out over there and watch what he was painting, and then you walked this way. So naturally, out of habit, I followed you and I'm like sorry, totally dude. executed my plan. Man, this is forever. Let's go this way. No, we're going this way. Oh, not right now. Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> what? I need to get myself together for the just Cut. Cut it. Dance. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah. What's up, Devin? Harry. Dude, what are you doing with your arm? Deodorant, bro. Are you sure? When the vampire comes out, like... Throw your trash away, kids. My name is Santiago Urias. I know people, I know people feel me when I speak. They understand what I'm talking about. 
it's not the thing that's taught. But I understand they know. You know, and, and that's what scares a lot of people. They need they're satisfied in the li- the lives they've constructed for themselves. Because we were taught one way to live, we we're taught one, but that's not the way. Because we feel what happens, how about what, what do we feel? What, what, who, who explains that shit? You know what I'm saying? And we have to learn that shit on our own. You know what I'm saying? And that's my biggest battle has been this. My flesh, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Flesh is my flesh is the weakest part of me, bro. It holds you back, man. But that's one of one of our biggest cruxes. One of our big things that has held us back and that has separated us. Because the only people that have made it throughout this life since mankind has been recorded are the people that have that retain love and respect for the next man in their heart. And Genghis Khan didn't make it, Hitler didn't make it. Why? Because they didn't have that shit in their heart, that's why. But they had every everything else. They had everything else but to make it as, as leaders. You know what I'm saying? And people want to believe in what they believed in. But they just didn't have that love and respect for the next man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because those are the only people that have made it. Whatever, right? Because there's shit going wrong, man. There's shit going wrong here, bro. And people like me, people like y'all, dude. We really have to stand up for each other, man. And, and tell them, you know what? No. I'm not going to finish your bullshit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've heard enough. I've lived enough lives. I'm saying I know there's something else there. I'm real damn it. I'm real emotional about the way I speak. Bro. I spent my lifetime studying. I spent my lifetime getting me. You know what I'm saying? Trampled on. And I know that wasn't right. How do I know it wasn't right? Because whatever was going on here, it's telling me it's not right. What's that, bro? Yeah. If somebody offends you, somebody disrespects you, you know what's up, dude. Because it's something inside tells you. No, you're not supposed to be treated that way. You deserve better. Right? Yes, yeah, sir. What is it? Is that really inappropriate? Hello? Nice. Where's the red carpet? <laughs> I really don't think we're supposed to be in here. Oh, there's a guy looking at you. Yeah, outside the window. <laughs> Run! Run! So, hold on. so right there, that's the homeless shelter, and out there, I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's all the homeless people that are outside that like can't fit inside the homeless shelter here. And that's just like not even one third of them in this city. It's awful. And it's a disgrace. And everybody just walks by them annoyed when they ask for help. It's like, how are they supposed to help themselves? What what can they even do? They are they're completely on the ground. Some of them don't even have identities anymore. They lost their social and stuff. What are they supposed to do? And we just walk by them without a care, making assumptions about their character, not even taking off the mask to know the truth. Because behind every person is a, is a story. Hopefully the assumptions will end and one day we'll actually wake up and help. All right, so earlier when we were coming up, I don't remember, I don't know what it's called, but it was, it was just in the general area. Okay, that's all you have to know. And we were passing this homeless dude. He He had on a tan shirt, he had on an orange, orange beanie, and I looked at him. And I said, Jesus loves you. And he looked at me and he lit up with the most amazing smile. Go! Hey, yo, uh, stay on the right side because oh, we're going the wrong way, it says. I think we should have gone the other way. Wait, are we actually going to obey a sign? What do you mean the other way? The other way, though, the way the cars are exiting. 
It was out of passion. Course, but, it was out of passion at the time. Yeah, no, I, I think it's it's the most passion violent form of peaceful protest that you can do. Yeah. <laughs> and um, you know, I was really hoping to kind of start a dialogue between you know the reasoning behind people saying that you can't you can't burn that, and that dialogue didn't get started. Instead, I got lit on fire, and I have a broken eye socket. <laughs> oh man. Oh, well, they tried to stop me from burning the thing, and then I got lit on fire while they were trying to steal it from me. Like. Oh man. It wasn't that bad. So y'all got like some. <laughs> yeah, I got some. No, no, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I got some. Like, so your like this was is, your dad like like in the army? Oh, he was a marine. Yeah. Oh man. Well, you know, it's the same family that disowned my uncle for marrying a black lady. So you know. <laughs> really? Uh, wow. What am I really missing out on? <laughs> <laughs> You're much more open-minded than uh, that. Yeah, I just I, I started traveling and realized there was a whole lot more to the world. There is uh, the so way much I look at it. We're all, we're all kind of this. We're all the same person inside. We're all just fumbling around in life. We have no idea what we're doing. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, so inside, we're all exactly the same. So I think you know everybody is pretty much out to do the best for you know them and their loved ones. And once we realize we're all the same inside, then everybody can be everybody's loved one, and then we can take care of each other. Yeah. Nice day today, huh? Oh yeah, it's a fabulous day, Jimmy. Oh, you know, I never thought I'd see a day like this. A day like what? You know, we're like, what, like 10 days away from Christmas, right? And it's as hot. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hot. It's as hot as a monkey's uncle, Jimmy. <laughs> how hot is a monkey's uncle? You know exactly how hot a monkey's uncle is. <laughs> 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 no, no, James, I don't think I know how hot an uncle's monkey is. Do you know how fine an Alaskan chimpanzee is? Is there even such a thing as an Alaskan chimpanzee? You, you seriously don't know what an Alaskan chimpanzee is? Huh? You like, you really don't know? No. It's a real thing, bro. No, it's not. You get it? No. You get it? Like, Dude, actually, it's... have you ever heard of the zebra jellyfish? That's not a real thing. Don't try to pull Yeah, no, that's me. a real thing. Don't try to pull it. That's a comparison of mine. 